Mama boy, how you doing? Hi, Kai. Hey. How's your day been, bud? How your day been? Mm -hmm. I just started the day, Mommy. Mm -hmm. How are you? How are you? You are so handsome. You are so handsome, Kai. Woo wee. Who's that handsome man? That is me. Kaka. Who's my little man? Are you my little man? crossover in here so I, I like to have my shoes off and I always have on some type of sock with with um, it can have a grip or it doesn't um, have a, have to have a grip but um, <clears throat> if you're a little flexible this is for you guys that are a little flexible so what I do to give my arm a break uh, right where the window is put my foot there See how he's, and it gives my arm a break. I can just kind of relax. Take his head, put it right there, and he's good. Two hands, guys. Uh -huh. Another tip and trick that I wanted to tell you guys, if you're having trouble with uh, milk production, these are a couple of the vitamins I take. I take some other ones, but I want you guys to get these. And you can go to Whole Foods and pick these up okay so you have the vitex okay and then you have the fenugreek fenugreek <laughs> um definitely get those um because that's gonna help bring in your milk and i'll do a separate uh thanks separate video um on that later um, but the those two vitamins definitely tip and trick for you guys trying to increase um, milk production is let keep your baby near you okay I mean obviously we as moms keep our kids near us but let your baby lay on you smell you all of that get, get your body back used to carrying your baby I know after we have babies we're like Woo, all that weight is off, but it's, it's something with the pheromones and all of that, that his little body is telling your body. And the more you keep his skin, that's why skin to skin is so important. Guys, I'm telling you, mommies, keep your babies on you as much as you can. As much as they want to lay on you, like how my son is just laying on my boob. His body is all the time communicating with my body. This is what I need. This is what I need. You might can't see him physically, but he's telling, he's telling, um, or, or she's telling your body, hey, I need more milk. I need this particular um, uh, neurotransmitter. I need this particular thing for my liver. I need this particular thing for my spleen, my adrenal, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, his body is communicating that and you don't want to um, keep your baby from you like don't don't do that don't listen to people that do that whenever you're around your baby if your baby wants to just sleep on you let him sleep let him sleep let him get as comfortable as he can um, I know with um, my son and my daughter whenever they would feed on me asleep would come over me like a deep sleep and I just go 
fight it, especially after they feed you. They've taken strength. They've taken, um, I don't want to just say power, but yeah, your, your milk is fueling them. They've taken some fuel from you, so to get it back, it's like your body's like, hey, go to sleep. I'm going to fix this back up. Go and get you some, um, some watermelon, some cucumber juice. Go get you some apples and eat it um, with the, the, the skin on it. Eat that. Um, go get you some grapes. Your body is, is, is going to make and produce whatever the baby just needed in their little system. Your body's just going to make it back. But it needs the help to do that. And I will do a video on what you can eat to bring your milk in. Also, get the mother's milk tea. I make sure I um, make like three or four, um, I put three or four tea bags in my um, teapot and uh, brew it up and I drink it strong. Use honey and uh, I like mine with cayenne. Hey guys, so I said I go ahead and post this um, to the video as well. Um, if you are having any trouble with um, in infection of the boobs or your child is getting thrush um, and you don't want to do hospital alternatives then this one is definitely for you. My husband actually found this uh, when I was pregnant with my first baby. She had thrush so bad that uh, fuzz was forming in her mouth, white fuzz, and then it began to turn black. Black, I'm not black. Um, took her to the doctor, um, and they wanted to give her all this different stuff. I said, No, I'm gonna find something. I tried the G E N T I A N violet, um, you can use that for thrush. My mom suggested that I use that because she had used it on us and it worked. This did not work for my daughter, so after trying other alternatives to getting that medication from the doctor I I wasn't sure what to do but my husband was researching too he didn't tell me he was looking but he just sent me this um, photo one day he was like listen I've read up on this this um, will fix Irish thrush and um, so I ordered it. It's called uh, Claire Labs Therabiotic for Infants. Um, I keep this stuff in the deep freezer. Okay, I don't play with this stuff because it has like, it has 5 billion uh, multi-speed. Like, this is like alive, okay? So I just took it out. I keep the bottle ice cold. It tells you to do that. It comes in a... Um, cold pack when you get it and they tell you to keep it refrigerated okay you don't want to play around with this you want to keep this stuff refrigerated so this is how this is it okay Claire Labs what you want to do you just want to put enough on your nipple so you can hand express a little bit of your milk and then um, put a little bit of the powder um, onto a surface and then dab it around your whole nipple. So um, right now, my son is eating right now on me. So what I would do, I would dab it around if he had an issue, okay? This, stop, Ari. This clears um, their issues in the mouth immediately. If you're having issues with your nipple, it will do the same thing. They don't necessarily have to be on you um, for you to just like, oh, okay, I want to put some on my nipple. Put it on there, okay? Um, just a little bit, not a lot, you know, enough to coat, you know, your nipple. Um, and you don't do it every day and you don't do it all day. Depending on how severe your thrush is, I what I did with Irie. I did it all day, um, the 
first three days. I was even putting it in bottles that I was pumping for her. I was making sure she was getting it because once I saw like by the second day, I started seeing it going away, going away. By the third, fourth day, it was like, oh my God, you know, um, <laughs> you gotta understand her tongue had been furry for weeks. This is why I don't screw around with um, animal products anymore. Milk and cheese was bringing this on like, like, oh my God, it was making it worse. And I was eating more and more of it, you know, stress eating. Cause I'm like, I don't know what to do for my kid. And I was hungry too. Nobody told me you're going to be hungry. Um, when you breastfeed, listen, guys, y'all got to eat. It's not a game. Y'all have to eat, but. I get to that back in a, in a second, but nobody told me that. So I was eating all sorts of breads. I mean, Hawaiian bread and rolls. That was my go-to. I just eat a whole thing of them, like three of them, four of them a day to fill myself up. Cause I'm like, where's this insatiable hunger coming from? I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. Blah. Nobody was telling me any of this stuff. So I just get that. I'd eat the quesadilla cheese. The, the 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 ten pack from Walmart. I was getting that. I was getting the Stouffer's mac and cheese and fish dinners. Eating those, just hammering it out with the bean and cheese. We want to bring in your milk supply as good as it can be. Please, if you don't do anything else um, that I suggest, get away from milk and cheese products get away from it get away from meats if you're gonna do meats try to just do fish please with my daughter i ate a lot of fish uh sway swa s-w-a-i you get it from walmart um but if i knew what i knew now i'd probably have did the chilean bass it's a little more cost um, costy, but it's worth it because it, it's got way more stuff in it than the swah fish. Um, I would have definitely did that. Um, and, and I would have ate way more salads and not as much grain. I was hammering grain. I was hammering that. Oh my God, just the, the wrong combination of foods. You're not supposed to eat. If you're gonna eat a fish, you don't eat um, potato with it. You, you, you don't do that because the, first of all, meat takes a while to break down, okay? Um, and then starch, all that did was just hold it up in your um, body longer than what it needed to be. So now you have rotting meat, literally, it's rotting in your body, decaying inside of you. And, <laughs> Your um, body has to enlist the help of parasites to break it down. Yes. And I'm telling you guys this because all of that is helping to create the candida. Because remember, your tongue and your butthole is all connected to the intestines. So if all of that's going on in your intestines... Just imagine what you're putting in your baby's mouth, okay? And essentially, women, if you don't know this, the way that we can release toxins is through our periods once a month and through our breast. As well as when we get pregnant with a baby, we immediately start sending the stuff, the trash, to the infant, unfortunately. This is... Uh, survival at its finest this is what the body does to get rid of it. and all the body is seeing it as is a way of getting it getting rid of it okay that's that's all it is seen as it's a means of getting rid of okay it's a lot of crap in here oh there's a baby in there or there's something there that's gonna eventually leave the body let's send it that way you don't want that you don't want that you do not want it in your milk Oh my God, it causes so many issues. Um, case in point, when I took the epidural in the hospital for them to do the emergency C-section, and I took that Pitocin and all that crap, when 
My son started having cradle cap. I called the nurses just to see what they'd say. And the nurse says, oh, did you take any medicines while you were um, in the hospital? I said, yeah. She said, um, oh, well, all it, all, that's just the um, medicines coming out of his scalp. So, oh, so it went from me into him. How did it get to him? Either it got to him when um, he was still in me or he got to him through my breast milk. Because didn't nobody put no epidural in Kai. Nobody put an epidural in Iris. She had it too. And I, <laughs> you know, like I said, I had to figure out all this stuff on my own. Just calling, researching, talking, talking to um, my um, doctor, herbal doctor, Dr. Quilla. And um, my herbalist, um, my detox um, doctor, Dr. Quilla, and my herbal, um, the master herbalist, Senna, who creates all of my teas uh, for me and my kids, uh, for my whole family, really. Um, guys, we got to do better. We can do better. We just need to know what to do. So I love you guys, and I'm going to compile all of the video that I did yesterday and today, and I'm really um, hoping it helps you guys. And like I said, I will continue to do these videos more and more. Um, if something that I said resonates with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you want to hear more about different um, things, leave a comment. Let me know. Also, start drinking celery juice. Drink it first thing in the morning when you wake up. Okay, love you guys. Here's to our health.